Okay, people. So I don't usually do this, right? I've done it a couple of times, maybe, where I've talked about a book which I just couldn't finish. Couldn't finish. And uh, yeah, Ready Player Two is another one of those goddamn books, right? So again, it is, you know, I should say, right? It's a sequel to Ready Player One. It's by Ernest Klein. And the audiobook is again read by Will Wheaton, right? Um, so the book, right? The book. Now, Walter Stones says this. Fizzing with wit and invention, the elite eagerly awaited sequel to the cult classic. I don't know about it being a cult classic, but anyway, the cult classic Ready Player One is a bravoa. Bravoa? Brava? I don't know. Mashup of high octane gaming adventure and 1980s pop culture. The actual blurb is, days after winning Oasis founder James Halliday's contest, Wade Watts makes a discovery that changes everything. Hidden within Holiday's vaults, waiting for his heir to find it, lies a technologi technological advancement that will once again change the world and make the oasis a thousand times more wondrous and addictive than even Wade dreamed possible. With it comes a new riddle and a new quest, a last Easter egg from Holiday hinting at a mysterious prize. And an unexpected, impossibly powerful and dangerous new rival awaits. One who will kill millions to get what he wants. Wade's life and the future of the Oasis are again at stake. But this time the fate of humanity also hangs in the balance. Lovingly nostalgic and widely original... As only Ernest Klein could conceive it, Ready Player Two takes us on another imaginative, fun, action-packed adventure through his beloved virtual universe and jolts us thrillingly into a future once again. So, uh, yes, there you go. Now, the thing is, Ready Player One came out in 2011. So this, like, Ready Player Two came out in 2020, right? And you kind of feel, I don't think the book needed a sequel. You know what I mean? I don't need it, think it needed a sequel. And you feel, and Klein has also said it, because the film was so successful that, you know, it kind of drove him to write the sequel, you know, and the sequel has already been optioned for a film, you know what I mean? So, yeah, but, man, I, I could not finish this book, couldn't finish this book, I'd kind of held off of um getting it for a while, you know, just because I was like, I don't know, I didn't, yeah, because I, I remember reading the first one and going, you know what, I like it, I like it, and I watched it, then when the film was coming out, I did the book again, and I hated it, <laughs> it irritated the fuck out of me, oh my gosh, it really did, right, and what I found is the film did clear up some of the, the rubbish shit, a bit like the Harry Potter films, you know, it's still awful, but did tidy up some of the awful writing in the books. Um, but, yeah, it, 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 it's still just kind of dumb, right? And, and I don't know if it's kind of dumb. What I mean is way too many 
references it's so steeped in it's like that irritating person that you know that loves something you know a film or a, a music artist so much and they always want to shoehorn references and things into every conversation right bring everything back to that one thing and you're just like yo son understand you like this thing which is cool I don't care, right? You can love it. I don't care. But stop forcing it down my fucking throat. Just stop doing it because it's irritating the shit out of me. Please. You know what I mean? That's what it is. So I, I, I started this. And firstly, it's the whole second quest, which, yeah, come on. <laughs> Come on, that's just some ridiculous shit. Because when you like in the first one, the way it's talked about in that first quest, right? That that's just like boom, this is it. So then to go, oh, oh, by the way, <laughs> there is this other thing as well. You know what I mean? Which you'd kind of think, come on, man, that would have been mentioned. It would have been mentioned. Plus. When you find out what this thing is, it's like there is no way you'd keep that quiet. Right? Even when they try to explain it, like, well, there was like all these different groups working on separate bits and blah, 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 blah. And you'd be like, no, no, you can't keep that quiet. Right. How many times you're in a, a new iPhone or something is coming? There's all those leaks, all those leaks and rumors about, oh, I believe it's having this or it's having that or ba 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 bum. And obviously, some of them are false. Some of them are right, though. Right? Or they have a portion of it right. You know what I mean? So there's always going to be info that comes out. So for this to be like, oh, this was able to, no, <laughs> like, shut the fuck up, and then the way everyone is, like, on it, the way everyone is on it, you're just like, really, really, is that what we are going to believe, that all these people are like, yes, this is the way, because, we saw the issues in the first one, right? With the whole Oasis and how, um, man, I forget that other organization was trying to take people out and, you know, they killed the, uh, oh, is it Kato? The, the Japanese cat. They killed the older one, threw him off the balcony when he was still long, right? So it's just like, yo, we saw an issue. And now you're you're down with this thing? Come on. So there's that. Then it's just talking about Wade and Samantha being in love. Right? Because it was that whole thing when he's just like, I love you. And it's just like, you haven't even met her in real life. So you're a dumbass. Right? And then... Wait, I mean, the film was irritating because the birthmark on her face was nothing. And it's just like, ah, shut the fuck up, man. Right? In the book, it's, it's, you know, more significant. And you'd be like, why wouldn't you make it more significant? Right? And that would really kind of demonstrate, oh, this shit don't really matter. You know what I mean? But just a little bit of a... <laughs> Firstly, you could conceal that shit, right? You, you know what I mean? It was, it was, that was dumb. But then just this whole thing of them being in love and blah, blah, blah. And just a space of time, you'd be like, this, just no, you're in lust. That's fine. That's fine. I ain't got an issue with that. But let's stop with this hyperbolic bullshit. You feel me? But it's like, uh, it, 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 it's still bogged in that, oh, we've got to make 
all these references to 80s films or music or blah. And you're just like, okay. You know, it's like um, he, he's taking up running, right? So instead of just running and maybe listening to a fun soundtrack, it's like, oh, so I, I created this Temple of Doom running track. And I'm ch being chased by boulders and people from the... And it's just like... <sighs> okay. Are, are we really going to do... And he's not just running in normal running gear. He's dressed up like Indiana Jones. And you're just like, oh, do we... Do we have to... <laughs> do we have to do this? Like, really? Then there's a bit... Is a, I think one of the, the things that really just made me go, N oh, there was, well, there was two things, really. There's a bit where it's just like another Weeble fucking reference. And it's just like, oh, just like a Weeble. Weebles fall, but they don't fall down. And you're just like, oh, no, no. <laughs> like, why are we doing this? Like that, I swear that was in the first book. Like, we don't need to rehash. We don't need to rehash. And then when the big bad is revealed, you're just like, no. That, that was me. I had to tap out. I'm like, this is Highlander free. This is fucking Highlander free. And I know I reference that so many times, but you get, you, it's such a great reference, right? This Highlander 3 is the perfect analogy for some lazy ass shit. The first Highlander is incredible. I love that film. Love that film. It's so good. We don't even need to talk about Highlander 2 because that made no sense. <laughs> no sense after what the first film had established. And then Highlander 3 they just tried to recreate the first one. Try like beat for beat, they tried to recreate it. But it's just like, no, it's not working. It's not working, man. What are you doing? You know what I mean? And and that's what Ready Player Two seemed like. That they were just trying to copy it. And the other big thing is this motherfucker whines so. Oh my god. It's like I thought I don't know if I've read a character whine so much than Harry Potter in the Order of the Phoenix. That's the big yellow book, right? I feel that's that one. Order of the I think that's the name of that book, right? And three quarters of that book is just Harry fucking whining like an asshole. And that's this in this book. God damn, where he's whining. It's just like, oh, everyone else is living better lives than me. And he's just like, bitch, you can live that life. You got all this money. You have all this money. Like, there's a point when everyone gives him their portion of this thing. And you're like, why the fuck would they do that? You know what I mean? It's just like, that makes no sense, right? Why would they do that? That's some dumb shit. But, yeah, he, he's just constantly whining about, oh, how these people are living their life and doing their thing, and, oh, I don't get that, and I've got no friends, and blah, 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 blah. have this. Then we have this whole... It's, it really felt like they'd forced in this trans character. And listen, it's not saying there can't be a trans character. Not saying that. It's just the way this character comes in is just so forced. And then we get the, oh, well, the thing is, I've tried it all in the Oasis. And boop, 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 boop. It's just like, oh, fuck off. This is so lazy. You know what I mean? Really just being like, oh, let's try and tick this box and let's tick that box. It, it, I just couldn't. I just couldn't. Couldn't do it. Had to jump out. You know what I mean? Everything was, it was either, uh, you know, just rehashing the first book 
or just taking elements from all these other books. You know what I mean? Like, create a seed ship, and you know what I mean? This planet's being destroyed. We need to fix it. We need to leave. We need to do uh, just like, ah, Jesus Christ. No. Yeah. So, um, you know, and I, I, it is a thing, right? Because Klein, you know what I mean? He, he does, uh, he did, you know, Ready Player One, which was, was huge. But then his other books, right? I I just hate them. <laughs> like Armada wasn't wasn't very good. It just wasn't very good, man. You know? And and so when you read it, it's just like uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. That I mean this makes sense, you know? It, it, it because it's not great. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's not great. And you can see you can see that in Ready Player Two. And as I said, like what the second time I read Ready Player One, it was you know it, it just felt lazy. Like, just, you know, just all these, oh, let's reference this film, and let's reference this book, and, oh, this song is, you know, this character likes this song, so I have to like this song, and it, it just all of this, and it's just like, yo, where, where's your own personality, motherfucker? You know what I mean? Yeah, oh, dear, oh, dear. But, listen. People are gonna love it. That's cool. That's cool. I have no issue with people loving this book. You know what I mean? Loving the first book. It, 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 we all have things that we prefer, right? I could list a whole lot of books and films I enjoy, and people are gonna be like, oh, I don't like that, which is fine, which is fine. But yeah, this, it just didn't, it didn't work didn't work for me man didn't work for me and so yeah i had to bounce yeah and it was you know what i mean when the um the big bad is revealed it was just like nah <laughs> and the big bad is revealed real early you know what I mean? so i was just like gotta tap out gotta tap out and just all the arguments and the whining the pop culture fucking bullshit it yeah wasn't for me but if you love, 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 love the first book, if you loved Armada, you know what I mean? Then I, I feel if you loved Armada, that's the real litmus test, then Ready Player Two could very well be your thing, people. Could very well be your thing. And, you know, Will Wheaton does read the order of books. So although I thought it was trash, Will Wheaton does, you know, I mean, he is very good at narrating. So there is that but not good enough to make me finish it. <laughs> but people, there you go. That's my, my, my views of Ready Player 